name is Richard Lau and I am a lecturer here at the PI. Electrical engineers applying the principles of science and mathematics study electrical current. Electrical current consists of charges in motion. When this motion takes place within a closed loop, the path is called an electric circuit. In practice, circuits are opened and closed by such devices as switches, fuses, and circuit breakers. Electrical circuits are useful because they allow energy to be transported without any moving parts. A battery-powered circuit is an example of a direct current path. The voltages and currents are constant in magnitude and do not vary with time. In alternating current circuits, the voltage and current periodically reverses direction with time. A standard electrical outlet supplies alternating current. Lighting circuits and electrical machinery use alternating current circuits. Many other devices like computers, stereo systems, and television sets must first convert the alternating current to direct current. By understanding the basis of electric and magnetic forces, electrical engineers link scientific discoveries to consumer and industry needs. ADNOC employs hundreds of men and women electrical engineers to help ensure the safe, reliable production and delivery of oil and gas. They design, operate, monitor, and control the electric power systems that supply energy to thousands of electric motors and control equipment in the field. It is with these motors that petroleum is extracted from the wells and processed at the refineries. Electrical engineers must also develop and utilize instrumentation control consoles protecting personnel, machinery, and equipment on or off-site. A failure of a critical electrical component would cause a major shutdown that would cost the company an unwanted major financial loss. Electrical engineers are critical to the industry because they can prevent such losses. At ADNOC, electrical engineers can attain major positions of responsibility, but are also in high demand in many other industries, including power and telecommunications. Here at the PI, electrical engineering students learn instrumentation and controls and power engineering. In instrumentation and controls, they design, develop, and test electrical systems. They perform calculations and make technical drawings of systems and equipment. Control engineers design the controllers that cause these systems to behave in the desired manner. To implement such controllers, Electrical engineers use electrical circuits, signal processors, microcontrollers, PLCs, programmable logic controllers. They are also involved in the design and operation of new technologies such as smart oil and gas fields and wells which can be controlled remotely even as far away as company headquarters. In power engineering Students study the generation, transmission, and distribution of electricity through transformers, electric generators, transmission lines, and power electronic devices. During your coursework as an electrical engineering student, you learn electrical engineering principles and practices through step-by-step -step approaches that build on the basics into more complex designs and applications. Upon completion of the program, you can expect to become a valuable asset to ADNOC. You will be an effective, competent electrical engineer with a solid understanding of the essential elements in successful electrical system design. You will also know effective, efficient operation and maintenance requirements 
for major components in electrical systems. Remember, electrical engineers have the power and know how to use it to keep the oil flowing. Good luck.